Hey guys, Dave here, the NC Picker. How you doing? NC Flipper? NC Picker and Flipper. NC Flick Pipper. Pick Flipper. Flip Flipperker. We sold some items on eBay today, and we gotta pull the orders. Today is Tuesday, October 19th. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, on this channel, we pull our eBay orders, we talk about our eBay orders, we talk about what's sold, and we talk about just life in general, as it is. So, I had a long day today at work, and I'm trying to, like, really just kind of rein in my thoughts and figure out where I want to start. How about with Quail Man? Look at Quail Man. Remember him? Doug? Dude, 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 dude. He's kind of gross. Bought this from some, uh, some guy. <laughs> Anyways, our first order today is in bin D3, which is not a bin, actually. It is a drawer, actually. And it's right here. So, I'm not going far at all. Isn't that nice when that happens? This was sold Murad. Let's see, can it focus? Yeah, Murad Resurgence Rapid Collagen Infusion. Great for my wrinkles, I guess. We sold that for 30 bucks. I got it at a yard sale. I got like a whole bin of cosmetics. It wasn't a bin, it was more like a shoebox of cosmetics that I paid 40 bucks for. And that sold for 30. So that gets me almost all my money back. And I've already, hmm, have I sold any other ones? I don't know if I've sold anything else. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my garage is such a mess right now. I don't have a trash can in it here right now. We took it out because we were using it for something else. And so I've been throwing my trash on the floor, quite literally. So, <laughs> I'm such a slob. Tina yelled at me. Uh, I'll pick it up later. Today, Tuesday, we dropped the first episode of our podcast we're going to be doing called... Uh, Oh, we've got a name for it now, so I'll tell you that. Now, it's off the channel. I was only going to put it on this channel for a few days because it's actually really bad for my channel to release content that you guys don't want to watch. And obviously, it's a different thing than the show you normally tune in for, so it's doing horribly. I think it's got like 400 views in the whole day, and compared to my other videos, that's very bad. Um, so I'm going to leave it up until probably Thursday, maybe morning? Probably Thursday morning I'll take it down. Um, and then there'll be a separate channel... For you guys to view that on the name of the podcast is going to be trash to cash the trash to cash podcast i'll go ahead and put a link to that second channel in the description below so you guys can go subscribe to it if you liked the podcast and then hopefully every hmm, monday or tuesday i've got to pick a specific day i really should probably say every tuesday we'll release it because we'll record it on sunday night i can edit it on monday and then tuesday It'll go live. So that's probably the plan is every Tuesday to go live with that. We will also have an audio version for those of you who are driving around and want to just do a podcast. And we will get you a link there as well. Once we have that all set up, I think it'll be good for our channel if you all go subscribe to it like right away and, you know, just put it on. Turn the volume down. Don't even listen to it if you don't want to. But it would be good for our podcast if you did that. So, Stay tuned, and um, probably in the next video, I'll let you guys know, you know, how to get to that and all that stuff. And so we can, you know, try to give it a little juice uh, to people who do like podcasts. I know a lot of you don't like podcasts, and that's fine, but that would help us, you know, get a little following on our podcast if you help us out with that. So I'll give you more details on that when it's ready. Let's stop talking about podcasts and pull more orders. So we sold that collagen stuff for 30 bucks, and I'm pretty sure that is a wrinkle thing for people who want to get rid of their wrinkles. I'm not allowed to call myself old anymore in videos. Uh, it's definitely triggering some of you, and I'm sorry. Obviously, being old is relative. There, I sold no snap phone grip for $26.90. Old is really relative. So relative, actually. And I think I've talked about this when I had way less viewers. But as you get older, right, you feel like age is not as big of a deal. I, okay, so let me say it this way. The older I get, the shorter time feels. So, and that's, I think, because you've lived longer, so every year, for example, feels shorter. Um, because relative to your whole life, that year is now less time, right? So when you're five years old, one year is a fifth of your life. When you're 10 years old, one year is only a tenth of your life. When you're 20 years old, it's only a 20th. And when you're 37, like me, then one year is only a 37th of your life. All that to say... Although I feel like 37 is old now, I'm sure when I'm 50, I'll feel like 37 is young. Just like when I was 18, I thought 35 was ancient. So, just goes to show, I shouldn't call myself old. I don't think anyone was truly upset. Some people did get upset about my um, little mini chat 
about the reseller alley said I was too negative and that they put a lot of work into it, blah, blah, blah. And I totally agree. They put a lot of work into it. And I also am pretty sure I said I enjoyed it. So I think really what came through was just like I was a little depressed that day because I was like back to the normal nine to five grind after a little vacation. And I think we can all kind of... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Relate to that just finished vacation, kind of like sadness and uh, feeling a little bummed out essentially because you know, you don't want vacation to be over. And like I said, I wasn't just down because vacation was over. I was also down because I just made me realize how bad I want to do reselling full time. So anyways, there's multiple things. This is a little uh, costume I sold. It's a lion and I've got to put it all together because it kind of fell apart in there so I can put it back together and Clean it up. That costume sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. Makes sense. Halloween is coming. Um, I have to ship it quick because it's the 19th already. But I think it'll make it in time. It's only going to, to New York. So it should get there in time. I'm in North Carolina. If you didn't know that. Um, but that's what the NC stands for in North Carolina. It could stand for nasty clutter too. I guess that would work. So yeah, that costume sold for 20 bucks. And then we sold a laser disc called Shirley MacLaine's Inner Workout. That sounds fun. Now, is this a Shirley MacLaine from Die Hard? Because wasn't that um, John MacLaine's wife's name, Shirley MacLaine? Am I remembering that correctly? There, guys. See, an older movie that I've watched and know well enough to know actors' names in it. Well, I guess, yeah, that's the actor's name and the character's name. No, it's not the same lady. That is not Shirley MacLaine from Die Hard. That is uh, some other person. Um, and looks like, I mean, talk about a random buy, right? Not only do I want to exercise my inners, <laughs> whatever that means, <laughs> inner workout. So someone wants to work out their innards, and uh, maybe that means like your, uh, you know, your intestines and your lungs and any other innard really. And they want to do it on laser disc. That's pretty random. <laughs> uh, so that sold for nine dollars plus shipping. So I guess it's not a bad deal for. Honestly, I don't think there's very many very many inner workouts. Guys, I know she's talking about like your, your, your mind, your inner peace. Actually, I don't know. It could be anything. Who knows? You let me know if you've ever watched this. I bet it's on YouTube. We could probably find it and watch it right now. Um, 300. We sold 300, not 300 items, but 300 the movie, but not the original one, which was decent. The Rise of the Empire, which is like a sequel that I'm pretty sure was awful. Sold that for 6.99. I'm gonna be honest, guys. Hold on, why is it in macro mode? I'm breaking out on my nose. I got like pimples and all this other stuff. Um, but no, I wanna be honest. I feel kind of crappy right now because <laughs> I found a local place that makes deep dish pizza and it's very delicious, but I just ate a slice. And apparently with deep dish pizza, a slice is a lot of pizza. I mean, so it was leftover pizza. We ordered the deep dish last night and last night I ate two slices and I was down for the count. <laughs> I was incapacitated after eating two slices of deep dish pizza. And one slice also hurts, I found out. The funny thing is my parents were here, right? And so I ordered, you know what I'd normally order for the group, right? A meat lovers that me and Tina will share and then we'll save like half of it for the next day or whatever. A white pizza, which is what my parents eat, which is like Alfredo and ricotta and tons of garlic, right? For my parents, because that's their favorite. And then I ordered a plain cheese for my kids. But I didn't again, I didn't realize how enormous these Chicago deep dish pizzas are. Like they're like this thick. It's like a casserole almost with some bread. And my kids uh, eat, each ate less than a slice. My mom ate a slice, less than a slice. My dad ate a slice, Tina ate a slice, I ate two just because I had spent so much money on it. <laughs> but I felt like I had to eat more than one slice. And now I have a ridiculous amount of leftover pizza. So if anyone wants some pizza, give me a ring, come over, we'll hang out, have some pizza. I sold this uh, golf club head, Maxi Fit, no, Max Fly. This sold for $34.90 plus ship, so that's not bad. I got that in like a thing of golf clubs, golf club heads for like five to 10 bucks. Like the next day I sold one for 110 bucks, so that's all profit. I got a really interesting email today, I'll tell you that. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it, but I'm gonna know anyways, you know, we'll see. I think it's okay. I sold a book out of 19 here, I might need the latter. So someone emailed me and they said they're working with a big streaming company. I won't say the name of it, but it's one of the big, you know, like 
a Netflix type company, but not Netflix. See, I've given away a little bit of it. And uh, they're working on a movie or a documentary and they want to use my footage in the documentary on this big network streaming platform thingy. So I thought that was interesting. I did ask them because like it's at a yard sale and you can see like the seller's faces and stuff. I said, well, will you blur out the seller's faces? Like, I don't really wanna, you know, put them on HBO, even though we were in a public location. Like, I don't want them to, you know, unwittingly be on H, unwittingly be on a big TV network. I might've just said the name of it, oops. <laughs> I'll edit that out, I guess, or I'll forget that. I'm gonna say it now, hey Dave, don't forget to edit out the name of that company that you just said. Although I don't know why I can't say it. I can say it, I'm gonna say it. So they're making a movie for HBO Max. There, I said it. I won't tell you what it's about, but let's just say they're interested in using some of my yard sale footage in this documentary. Um, and that's kind of cool. They offered me money to use the footage. So it's all kind of neat. They didn't offer me much. I mean, let's see, how much can I just give away? They told me they'd give me 200 bucks to use my footage in their, in their documentary. What do you think? I, yeah, hey, any of you guys have any clue if that's a good offer? Seems like decent okay money, but I mean, I'm giving them the rights to use my video. I don't know if that's a fair offer. I mean, I guess if I say no, they'll probably just find someone else. All right, I sold this book. This book is uh, Three by Graham Greene. It's three different novels, The Gun, This Gun for Hire, The Confidential Agent, Agent and The Ministry of Fear. And that was $7.95 plus shipping. Now, I don't think I'll do it if they say they're not gonna blur out the faces of the sellers, just cause I, I don't think I'd be comfortable with that. But if they do say they were planning on blurring them out, then I might do it just cause it's kind of cool to be like, yo, check out this thing on HBO Max, my footage is in there. Mind you, I don't think it would really drive that much viewership. Like even, now mind you, they didn't say they'd put my name or credit me either. <laughs> I think they're just saying, oh, it's now our footage. So that's, that's the other question. I sold this cassette, the Marlboro Country Music. But even if they did put my name and said, hey, this is NC Picker, go to youtube.com slash NC Picker, I don't feel like that's actually good for my channel. And I'll tell you why. I'm like a total nerd when it comes to YouTube channel stuff. Squishmallow bin, Elijah sold sloth. <laughs> Let's grab that. Because I feel like if you send a bunch of random people that are trying to watch this documentary on the specific topic that it's on. And you see, and you see that it's like, uh -huh. I just sold this little sloth squishmallow for seven bucks and 18 cents. You may end up going through and saying, okay, I'm gonna watch that video where he bought that item and you know, because I'm interested. And then you're not gonna probably subscribe. You're not gonna probably watch any of my other content. You're probably just gonna watch that one video and leave. And I'm convinced that when YouTube sees that kind of action on an account, it doesn't really help the account, it probably hurts it. Like, oh, they came, they didn't really like him enough to subscribe, they didn't like him enough to watch more than one video, so we're gonna go ahead and not recommend him as much. So I'm not convinced a credit would be that good anyways. So I don't know. Like I said, I thought it was interesting. Thought you guys might find it interesting. Totally gave the gave away the channel it would be on, but I don't know. If they're not gonna hide the seller's faces, then I'm not gonna do it anyways, because it's not like a life-changing amount of money anyways, so I'd rather just not. Okay, so here we go. Sold a Barbie. I love Barbies, as you know. Not being sarcastic at all. And what did I sell that for? Actually, I sold it for a lot, $29.99. It's still so funny to me. I bought that at a yard sale full of Barbies, okay? And the yard sale had a giant shelf of Barbies. Every shelf from shelf two to five was boxed holiday Barbies that she wanted 10 bucks a piece on. On the bottom shelf, she had a bunch of open box, like that kind of Barbie that I just showed you. And those were all like a buck. She had like no interest in getting a lot of money for those. All those ones on the bottom were worth the most money. And all the ones in the boxes were worth nothing. I ended up buying everything and spending like a hundred bucks. But if I had just said, hey, how much for the whole bottom shelf? She probably would have said five bucks and I would have made way more money. Um, at this point, I think I'm in the profit now in the Barbies, but not, not by much. I sold her for $30 plus shipping. I have a little weird thing about action figures. Let's talk about that. I think they're exceedingly cool. 
but I'm also a reseller at heart. So it's hard for me to hold on to action figures. And sometimes I'll buy them because I think they're cool, like this beast from X-Men. I bought this from Lonnie on Shed Flips, actually, because I saw it in one of his videos and I thought it was cool. So I bought it like eight months ago. And I now sold it. So I had it for a while and now it's sold. And I sold it for $11.25. I think I paid Lonnie like 14 or 15 bucks for it. So I lost money on that one. But I just recently bought a bunch of uh, action figures from Carrie, American Arbitrage and whatnot that I thought were cool too. And they were super cheap because whatnot is like fairly cheap right now. I got these Doug and Skeeter and got some Fortnite figs, some cool Batmans, some Funko Pops. This stuff's all over the place because I was opening it up and playing with it because honestly I just thought it was fun and I liked the stuff I was buying. Oh, I bought a bunch of Star Wars in package. I know they're not worth much, okay? I, I paid like basically what you'd pay on eBay, but the Whatnot thing is like a really addictive shopping experience. And like I said, Whatnot is an app on the, like, I don't know if it's on Android. It's definitely an iPhone. I don't know if it's on Android. But what color is this, green? No, green and gray, bin 17. So anyways, I went and bought a bunch of action figures that I shouldn't be wasting my money on right now, but I did have fun doing it. So there's something, right? <laughs> I sold that one I bought from Lana. Oh, I think it's right here. Let's see. Yeah. Yes, I sold this. <laughs> a priority mail envelope, guys. I sold a priority mail envelope. So that is a cashmere sweater from, yes, I sold clothing. It's kind of a miracle. I sold it for a lot of money too. I mean, for clothes, $26.19. I took a best offer. That's what it looks like right there. It's just cashmere. The brand on it is Born, B-O-R-N. And I paid a dollar or two at a yard sale a couple months back for that. So didn't pay too much. Definitely a decent profit. All right, up next, I sold this item. This is a uh, Star Wars VTG. What even is it? I don't even know what it is. It's a action figure collector's case from 1980, Kenner. Here it is. It's got like stickers on it and stuff, but whatever. Sold it for 20 bucks. So that came in that big Star Wars buy I did. As you guys can probably see, I've spent like zero time out here based on the mess uh, since uh, Sunday when I last pulled. I've just been busy and I was working at the office and things like that. I sold these Nikes, Air Max, Precision, something other. They're in pretty nice shape, decent. Decent condition, as it were. And I sold those for 30 bucks. I'm pretty sure I paid $2, but I might have paid as much as five. I generally won't pay more than five unless I'm 100% sure they've got good value. I made a grave mistake. No, I ate deep dish pizza and forgot to take lactate from my stomach. <laughs> All right, sorry, I had to take a phone call. It was my brother. Um, sold this. This is a curling iron that Tina got, I think, from a friend who didn't like it. And the friend just said, hey, I don't want this. You can take it. Tina tried it. Tina also didn't like it. Um, instead of regifting it, we sold it. Is that wrong? Sorry. <laughs> we did it. I don't know why I'm pulling Eli's orders today. Probably because I'm too lazy to go in and get him. Um, I guess I could. I guess I could go get him. This is a little Ninja Turtle. Maybe we'll get him out here later and he can tell us how much he paid. This is Donnie. Donatello, as you call him. And Donnie sold for 10 bucks. He got him at a yard sale. I think he paid a dollar for him, but I'm not sure. Ooh, really good sale. Next, this is a uh, Skylander that I've talked about, I think, a little bit. This guy right here, see him? He is called uh, Blackout. So be on the lookout for him. I'm showing you him, trying to get it in focus. Sold him for $80 plus shipping. That's eight zero. Uh, actually, $79.99, but I'm saying $80 because close enough. Definitely be on the lookout for him. I just realized I'm putting all my solds on my ladder, which is very inconvenient for this next order where I need to use my ladder. So I'm going to put this all over here. All right, so we sold a bowling ball. Talk about rando. And I know some bowling balls sell for decent money. Ooh, it's like stuck to my shelf. It's been here so long. So this one did not sell for that good of money. I paid like two bucks for it. Sold it for 20 bucks, 19.99, and it took a long time. I ended up buying like two or three bowling balls that day. Paid like a buck or two for each one. Two of them had no value at all. There's one in a yellow bag. I don't know if I listed it or got rid of it. I might've given it away at a yard sale. Um, but yeah, anyways, that sold for 20 bucks and that was the best of the three I bought. So definitely not a great one. Definitely not worth, uh... <laughs> okay, so hold on. Let me tell you which one it is so you can be informed. It's a Brunswick and it's called the Pearl. There it is. That one's not great, but it's okay. Keep your eye out maybe for it. Old Coriolanus. Yeah, Coriolanus. 
<laughs> that name sounds bad. <laughs> I'm a child, I'm sorry. Sold that for $5, brand new sealed, so definitely don't buy corn oleo anus. And I just dropped it. Sweet. And then we sold a record. Is this a record? Oh, it is. Yeah, we sold a record, and it's a 45. So I did find it, but in the process, I spilled all my 45s on the ground. So, really good job. So these NC Picker videos, last couple that have gone live, have not had huge finds. They've had kind of, eh, finds. Like, one of them, the best find, was a baby ring that you probably remember me selling on my channel. What's happening with my wig? Um, not really wearing I don't really have a wig. It just kind of looks like a wig right now. Oh, but I know you guys mentioned that you didn't really mind if I didn't, didn't have a huge find. So I figured make them live and see if people watch them. I don't even know how it's doing. Let me take a look. It's doing okay. Not my best. Uh, it's ranked four out of 10, which is decent. Anything above five makes me happy. So we also sold SSX Tricky on the PS2. Uh, SSX Tricky 3, actually, for $9, but it does not have a bin. And so I have no clue where it is, <laughs> which is always great. Uh, so I'll have to find it later. Oh, well. That's the extent of my order, $642 in gross. So that was probably $400, three, dollars $400 in net when all is said and done. Still have been incredibly lazy on listings. I don't even think Tina's listing at the moment. Like, I don't think there's any drafts, let me look. There is actually 15 drafts. I don't know when these are from, so I'll have to talk to her about that. It's video games. Fear effect for Sony PS1 is a bolo. $25 what we're listing it for. Okay, so I have a couple I can go live with. I'll talk to her about that. Um, it's crazy. I need a list because I'm, like, spending every weekend and not doing much listing. And so, you know, sales are decent, but they're not, like, amazing. So thank you guys for watching. Tune in next time. Bye-bye.